So this is the new better middle child from the Radio Master range. But the main question for me is, will it replace my Zoro, which is just fits just perfectly in the hands with with pro normal problems as with the small batteries and such. The question is, I definitely don't want to move back to the big boy. So I want something with the full gimbals, which we'll talk about that don't really have any kind of advantage or precision. They just are physically bigger. And this at least has the nicer, bigger batteries. Now, as a form factor, it's really not bad. It fits quite nice in the head. Got this bumps here. They're really nice to hold, hold on to. The fabric handler, that's a new feature on Radio Master. The switches, just two position, three, two knobs, nice detent, three, two position. Also have the, like an arm switch here and a momentary switch here, but this is, you can really reach this while your hand is on the stick. So I much like it on the radio mess. I mean, this is just on off and everything. Everything is well within reach with the knobs here. Also a smaller form factor. This, what's it's only got going for it is the bigger full size gimbals with all of the adjustable screws on top as all Radio Masters. These are the new V4 gimbals, but mostly it's just the adjustments on the top. That's the difference between them. All types of radios you get will come with this uh, T-style antenna. Communication USB port on the front, on the top, charging port on the bottom. Not much else to say about it. This grips are not that rubbery as it was on the Zoro or the Jumper. Also, of course, this one comes built in with games. A lot of games when you really get bored. Bored and uh, use the sticks. Oh yeah. Yep. Yeah, he likes to keep going a while. There you go. The menu is the standard OpenTX or HTX menu. This does come with HTX 2.8. And you also get the six position switcher if you use them. Now what from my testing and also from the specs online, the gimbals have a max travel range of 54 degrees. Can adjust that down but not higher than 54 which is exactly the same as the gimbals on the zoro which do appear smaller but they have the same sensor and same 54 degrees travel so only you just have to adjust the stick height and use exactly the same precision as the boxer or the full-size tx16 also has this nice metal scroll wheel comes with a, a bag gimbal protector and everything cables it's quite a nice package for the price. You can get it as a CC2500 20, model, 4-in-1 or ERS 1 watt internal module. All come with the standard uh, GR model bay, if you want to add Crossfire or anything like that. The Zoro case comes with the Nano module bay. Compared with the Zoro, it has mostly the same features, same OpenTX menu. Got all of hmm, trim switches, model system menu. It actually has more switches. You have two position, three, three position, momentary, and another two set of momentary. Yeah. Also, you can add a separate bigger battery on front. The problem with this is it has the really small 18350 batteries. And the covers are quite hard to fit correctly. Most of people just say that they fall off. They don't fall off if you fit them correctly, but it's really, really hard. So it clicked, but it's not really correctly clicked. This 
minor edges, not really in it. There you go. Now, these will not slide off no matter what you pull on them. So it's quite a, quite a well built. Surprisingly cheap radio has also also the same kind of internal modules, internal antenna. There you go. But ERS only goes up to 250 milliwatts. The so one watt ERS module in the boxer does have an active fan in it and bigger heat sink. Now let's look inside. For the Zoro, your only option for internal batteries are the 18350, which are quite low capacity, or an add-on external bigger battery up front, and this 2S port. On the Boxer, it, can, it comes with a case for two 18650, quite popular batteries, you probably have some, or you can buy a bigger 6200 uh, LiPo. Inside the Boxer, there's really not much to see. The two position switches unfortunately have only two wires, that means you cannot put a three position switch on it, like these two. So you're stuck with those. They're just basic cheap two position switches. Got your RF module depending on your version. The V4 gimbals, all of the adjustments are mostly in the front. Uh, clock battery, SD card, which you should really probably change. Screen connector. Can see much here, but it's quite easy for you to upgrade the U4 gimbals to the better AG1 gimbals, which just has the sockets right here. Also, you get the LED port if you want to add that for the gimbals. On the Zoro, everything is just really, really tight on this two layer PCB. If you want to change the gimbals on this, you have to take apart way too much. So, got a lot of ribbon cables, different connectors, battery here. The back switches and front switches are really, really small. Also, the two position ones as well. Antenna built in, RF modules actually under this, under this PCB. Can't really see much of it. But really nice filtering for a much a small board. All both have internal charging on USB C on the bottom port. No LED port on this one. It's quite quite compact for whatever it does. Actually, it sort of has a slightly larger screen, but same type and resolution anyway. Internally on the boxer, there's really not much to see. Got the antenna connected to the internal RF module, depending on your version. The only problem I see is that the position switches have only two wires, so you cannot add a three position switch instead of those or a pot. Only these have three or the three position switches that are okay. The V4 gimbals, most of the adjustments are on the bottom, on the top. You can quite easily replace them with the better H1 uh, gimbals. Also have the LED port here to add the light ring near the gimbals. Clock battery, battery input, screen connector here. The SD card which you should really really change, these are quite crap usually, might die. And HTX doesn't run without an SD card. Only some older version of OpenTX can handle that. On the Radio Master everything is way more compact. The the PCB on top, RF module underneath this. Got the same really small two position switches, two more two position switches here and on top. On this one, if you want to change the gimbals to the better AG1, AG01 mini ones, it's quite a lot of work. Maybe really not worth it as you're not gonna really fly better with those. They have the same travel as the small ones or the big, one, big ones here. Apart from that, they have the same software, firmware, chip, and everything in it. Now, in case of actual usability, I think the Zoro still wins. It actually has also a better look. 
The module fits snugly inside, the antenna doesn't stick out. This is just it's too tall now to fit in a like a small backpack. It's still thicker. It's still way too close to the full size DX16S or D18. You don't really are getting that smaller form factor with this. The module bay is also way too high to recommend this way larger battery compartment. And given that the gimbals are all the same, same travel, just change the sticks and stick height, I would just go with this. Battery life, yes, it's quite bad, but it's mostly enough for days flying and you can quickly charge it if you really need to. Right, that's all.